Good afternoon or good evening wherever you sit. Um, I'm speaking to you from the uh, Spring Garden in London uh, on a very uh, warm uh, late July afternoon. As you can see from the orchid, I will probably speak to you about the Singapore uh, Philatelic Show. Singapore is celebrating its uh, 50th birthday and uh, very happy to start the celebration uh, with an orchid. Uh, we are going to present absolutely all our categories. We'll have two uh, stamps auction, uh, including the Santosa collection, which is really a phone book and uh, of rarities. It's the most amazing collection to come to the market for Strait Settlement and Malaya for, and you know, uh, Malaysian states for uh, 50 years, over 50 years, plus a general sale of stamps. Uh, we'll have a very good numismatic sale with a, an amazingly strong banknote sec section um, and uh, coins, medals, um, bonds and shares, obviously. Um, and then we'll have um, a, a fine wine and whiskey auction uh, featuring some very exciting uh, closed distilleries in Japan for whiskies. And as you might know, Spink was the first auction house to sell a cask of whiskey, Macallan. Um, and I believe will be the first one now to sell a cask, a cask of aged rum. So if you fancy um, having your own you know, uh, label of rum, uh, please come and bid for that cask. That should be uh, great fun. Um, and also, we, um, you know, we like to move uh, forward too. We are going to uh, open a new category. Uh, we'll have our maiden auction for maps, maps of Southeast Asia. And, um, and that's very, very exciting. It's a new foray for us and uh, we count on your support because we are the new player in the field. And uh, that should be a great fun. So really an amazing uh, series of five auctions and thousands of lots to be offered. As part of the World Stamp Exhibition in Singapore, Spink is proud to host a numismatic auction of coins, medals, banknotes and bonds from share certificates taking place on the 16th of August. The highlight of the medal section is this magnificent collar chain and badge pendant of the Imperial Order of the Orchid Blossom, an appropriate order uh, to be selling in a Singapore auction. Uh, from Manchuria, the collar chain features uh, medallions of the eight uh, omens of Buddha. And we've got a lotus flower, a vase, two goldfish, an endless knot, a conch shell, the wheel of the law, an umbrella and a canopy. And the central medallion is an illustrious dragon from which is suspended the badger pendant. Uh, in gold and enamel, uh, it is uh, an orchid uh, blossom flower uh, set with numerous pearls. It's a magnificent badge. Uh, it's of the highest rarity uh, and I'm expecting it to do jolly well at auction. So please do come along uh, and bid heavily. Um, it's going to be a magnificent week for Spink. We very much look forward to seeing many friends there in the Exhibition Centre. This year, on the 16th of August, we're having one of our banknote sales in Singapore. We've missed a few years, primarily because we can't find material. It's very, very difficult to get anything decent for the Singapore market. I'm delighted to say that, uh, and especially it's the 50th anniversary of the founding of the Republic of Singapore, it's a very appropriate time to have a, an auction. And we have a very nice selection of notes, in my opinion anyway, to offer on August the 16th. Um, also, very importantly, it's in conjunction with the second edition of Frank Goon's Banknotes of British Malaysia, which is a fantastic book, and the second edition is coming out in conjunction with our auction. So we're delighted to do that because it will promote the business um, very much indeed. So I've got a few notes here to, to show. As I said, to get anything from Malaya, Straight settlements, Brunei, Singapore is becoming more and more difficult. There are a lot of collectors in the area, many of whom love their notes so much, of course, we can't get them to sell, which is a big problem for us, but I do quite understand it. But we have a few things. We have the Patrick Tan collection, who uh, he is a Malaysian client, who is one of these old time collectors, has some fantastic stuff, knew his banknotes, has a very nice collection of errors, which I know are very, very popular in Singapore. For example, I'll show you here a £50, a $50 note from Singapore, completely miscut on the bottom. And there are people who just collect errors, and these are fascinating things. I think possibly one of the most interesting notes in the auction, not necessarily the most valuable, but a leper colony note. This is a leprosarium note from um, Sungai Bulo, which I think is part of, of Malaya, um, with a kingfisher. The kingfisher was put on the bank note because there was a stream that had a lot of kingfishers in it running through the leper colony. The colony 
isn't there, of course, anymore, and leprosy has almost now been eradicated, but we have four little notes from a leprosarium colony in Malaysia, which are just as pieces of history, fascinating things. Straight settlements. Before Singapore became Singapore, um, banknotes came from the straight settlements. This is a $50 note from 1901. $50 in 1901 probably could have was a year's salary or maybe more. So how many of these are you going to find lying around in the drawer? The answer is basically none. This one, oddly enough, came from Eastern Europe. It's very strange where these things turn up. Maybe someone was working out in Singapore in 1890 and came back with a note in his wallet. It was a big note to leave in your wallet. Anyway, this has come out of Eastern Europe. It just shows we can source these things all over the world. Sarawak. A magical name, Raja Brook, who ran his own empire in, in Sarawak. This note here is particularly interesting, apart from the fact the condition is fantastic, which is most unusual. It has the red serial number two, so unfortunately not number one. This is the second note ever issued for this type, and it's a fantastic quality and dated 1919. So you have a note that's nearly, two, nearly 100 years old and the second one ever issued. Fantastic item. Two very high denomination notes. People always like high denomination notes because the, the money involved is so vast. This is a $10,000 specimen note for Queen Elizabeth for Malaya and British Borneo. I don't think the 10000 was ever issued. I've never, I've never had one. And it's such a staggering amount of money. Um, this would be 1953. I mean, $10,000 probably could have bought you a street in Kuala Lumpur or Singapore. So how many people would actually handle one of these? I presume they were used in banks um, or between solicitors in big property transactions, something like that. We're very lucky. We have a very good archival source. So we know, obviously, the condition is fantastic, perfectly authentic and everything, but super, super rare. So that's one of the highlights of the auction. And I think to close, there's a, a note here, just because people could have handled these. I don't think I've ever handled one. Um, this is a, a Singapore Border Commissioner's $10,000 note, but this is an issued note. So this actually is cash. You could walk into the um, currency office in Singapore and they will give you $10,000 for this note. It's face value. Now, of course, when this was issued um, in early 1980, again, <clears throat> $10,000 would have enormous purchasing power. So how many of these are you likely to find? A fantastic fish eagle on the thing with the skyline of, of Singapore underneath. Very historical, very impressive. And when I look at this, I don't collect banknotes as such, I'm not allowed to. But you look at this and think, my God, what a piece of paper that is, a $10,000 note. How would you like to be paid in those? So we have a good varied selection of banknotes for Singapore this year. I'm delighted to be back. It's one of my favorite places in the, in the world. I hope our clients are still going to be there. I'm sure they will be. And as I say, in conjunction with the issue of Frank Goon's Volume 2, which I'm sure will be warmly received, the 50th anniversary of Singapore, and we have an orchid on the front cover of the catalogue as a, to commemorate the event, I think it's going to be a very exciting time. So it's good to be back. Let's uh, look forward to seeing our clients there again. Thank you. We are presenting you this very special bottle of Kaliwizawa. Kaliwizawa Distillery is very famous for their sherry cask. Something that they do is like the good old days in McAuland. They are very good at this. And look at this, the Samulai series. You have the Samulai 2, Samulai 6 here. You have the Geisha series. They are all very sought after. And they are all in sherry cask. You have some of the products in the market. They are mixed vintages of sherry and bourbon. But quite rarely, you have a first few bourbon cars just like this. This one was released in 2012 in Whiskey Show, and it was sold out in around 30 minutes. I mean, who can blame them? This one was rated 4.5 stars in Whiskey Fun. Something really you can look forward to. Coming together with this lot, this is the sherry cars of the same release. It was also released in 2012 in Whiskey Exchange. As Lock 33, we're presenting you this Damarara rum that's from Guyana. The cars is currently lying in Scotland. It was laid down in 2003. It's currently 12 years old. You will have the opportunity to work with Silver Seal to bottle it, package it, 
and to label it the way you want it to be. On the Saturday night, 15th of August, Spain has prepared you an auction of the selected rums, fine wines, whiskies, and cognacs. We hope to see you in Singapore. There will be lots of activities um, at our booth. Uh, we we'll try to be very creative. We'll organize, you know, plenty of uh, events. You know, uh, cigar dinners and you know, wine tasting. And uh, we are going to create the first time ever, we believe, uh, uh, live reporting on Facebook and Instagram of what's happening in the frames and the events. So, you know, we'll, we'll try to have fun. You know, we love Singapore. It's a pay of, cre of creativity and we'll try to match, match up to their reputation and uh, we are very, very excited. All the team cannot wait to be on the plane and I hope to see you there.